Bienvenidos a Argentina. Welcome to Argentina. Buenas tardes y muchas gracias por volar con nosotros. Where'd you get that shirt? Sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta get the front of that thing. This thing is too good. You're looking good. I'm feeling good. You're like a frat boy. It's kind of hard to explain to a border agent that you're staying in a tent in Argentina. They were a bunch, they were not nice. My dad's deaf. So every time he asked a question, he didn't know what he was saying. Oh my gosh. I've never, that was, I was so mad. What hotel are you staying at? Ma'am, we're staying in a tent. <laughs> no, what hotel? It's not a hotel. Give me an address. <laughs> we need an address. <laughs> we don't have an address. It's the wilderness. Hello. Un gusto, un gusto. Nice to meet Hello. You. Hello. How are you? How are you? And we're going to meet you. Two times. Yeah. I have the camera. Back up. Here. Thank you. Gracias. I told you. I knew because he had his farmer's hat on. What just happened? We were... No, I told Alex. He's like, nah. He has bags. Because down here in Argentina, they wear a certain hat when they're farmers, and he had one on. And so I was like, I thought this is the guy who's picking this up. And Alex is like, no, I don't think so. And I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, he's got bags. I'm like, oh, okay. Just walked past him. I'm like, I knew it was him. Oh. Time to chase Red Stag! It feels pretty good too. It's not like super hot. I was a little worried about that. It feels dry and arid like Colorado. It feels yeah. good. Yeah. Feels like the mornings are gonna be cool and the afternoons are gonna be just a little warm. Yeah, it's nice. So we left the airport about an hour ago. The first 30 minutes was blacktop. Now we have four and a half hours of gravel. We haven't passed a house since we, in the last 20 minutes, we haven't seen a house, a building, or nothing. There is a high line going along the road, though, but there's Puma in all this country, according to our guide, and uh, it's uh, uniquely different than anywhere I've ever been. Yeah. Yeah, a little. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. Ah. USA. <laughs> he has no idea. Meet you. Really nice to meet you, Alex. So good. How was the flight? So good. Good? Yes. Okay. The I'm ride. Hear that. The ride was interesting. <laughs> yes. It, it was <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Alex. Alex. My father doesn't speak any English, but okay. he can Alejandro. communicate with with his hands. Me llamo Alejandro. Ah, so you speak Spanish? Ah, poquito. Okay. Ah, me llamo Alejandro. Sí. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's all you the boat. Who cares about the red stag? What do you I, think? I was just telling your dad this is the craziest thing I've ever done. Like this is just the pan right here is insane. Do you want some water? What do you think, Dad? Uh, well I'm recovering from motion sickness because it was a long three hours through them hills, but <laughs> now that I'm here it feels good. I may go waveboarding a little later. I see they got a waveboard for me. Right next to Pedro. <laughs> And uh, look at what they're already preparing our meal. Oh wow, I didn't even see this. Marcelo. What are you cooking? Yeah. Eh, ¿Qué estamos cocinando? Eh, pollo al disco. Like chicken at the disco. This is exciting. Oh <laughs> We're going to see our main home. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Cute. Yeah, so uh, that one is not ready because uh, Scarlett is going to be here in like two days. Okay. But Where are you staying? Okay. Okay. All right, guys, day one morning. We're all getting our stuff together. I look like. 
Um, I just want to let you know I'm going to probably leave the main vlogging camera. Well, I'm definitely leaving the main vlogging camera back at the house. And going to be vlogging off the GoPro just for stability. We're going to be on horses today and exploring the mountains of Patagonia for Red Stag. So stay tuned. Are you ready? Absolutely. What was wrong with that? That was a great intro. Okay? I thought it was great. <laughs> I just want you to know that I'll be blogging my ass off today, and you're really going to like it. All right. All right, Blanco. Nice and slow. Slow it down. Right? Slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> Find it. Okay. So. I almost lost it there for a second, but all right. Day one here in Patagonia. Day one of us hunting. So we climbed up this mountain via horses and I think we got a little roadblock in the way of fallen trees so we're trying to figure out how to navigate around it. It's a little chilly, it's fall time here so this is when they're gonna start roaring but when we got here our guide said that they're not quite roaring yet, it needs to be a little colder so we think that it's gonna take a couple of days until we start really hearing them so unfortunately we gotta spot them but hopefully luck's on our side and we're gonna get a big pull down. And he's peeing. Bye. Adios. Big one. Big one. Oh, you ready to go, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Sí, lo bueno que si quieres capítulo ya están cubiertos los dos. Están cubiertos. ¿Quieres ver alguno? Sí, son mía, ¿no? ¿Qué es eso? Ya, yo solo quiero ver si está en weight. Es un pesito o algo. Creo que quería. Sí, son muy grandes. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. I decided to do a little bit of fishing and explore the lake we were staying on. We didn't see any red stag that day, and the fishing was also pretty tough. Unfortunately, this is probably the area to get the biggest red stag, but they're not really in this area yet. They're more high up in the mountains. So we're going to change locations, go to a little different area. Um, and hopefully they're we're there. Going three hours to a different location where they're roaring. The climate's different. It got colder faster, so they're more in the rut. Right now we're just glad to be alive because uh, Alex set a fire in there last night and left the door open. We woke up and we thought we were in heaven. Well, I thought I was in hell. But... <laughs> I don't know what happened, but somehow the door got swung open. You gonna come with us? Yeah. That's what I was told to do. That's okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna ride with Cindy, but I have to. <laughs> Buckle up, buttercup. You can do something. 
Okay guys, this is the second afternoon. It's just Gina and I, and we've changed locations. Yeah, this time we're gonna try to to go to a flatter place and try to get really close to the, to the deers if we have luck and we hear them roaring. We need a little bit of luck. Obviously, if you guys know anything about Argentina, it is a massive country mm -hmm. and we were able to drive four hours away and we got a report that the deer are roaring here and more in, is it a rut? Is that what it's called? Yeah. So they're running here and uh yeah we unfortunately didn't get to hunt the morning just because of travel out of that place where we were staying was super remote as you guys saw us getting in there uh but i'm super excited i'm already winded after our half mile hike and we've got a long hike to go so stay tuned let's see what happens let's go Are we good or should I wait? What? <laughs> can I talk loud or should I wait? Yes, you okay. can. Um, we unfortunately were not able to get close enough. Um, I think, I don't, I don't know. By the time we made it around, we, we never did find the big bull, but we did get, when those, when they were bedded down here, we were probably 150, well, you don't know yards. No, I don't know in yards. How, how many meters were we from the bedding ones? 100 meters or less. Yes. Yeah. We were 100 meters away from the bedding uh, stag, but we didn't see any of the, we didn't see the big buck we saw through the binos. So we think he never made it this way. And then uh, some Yahoo with a fox call started playing the fox call over by where we kind of entered the field. And yeah, scared all the, uh, the deer out of the field for us. So it's another day of no shots, but nonetheless such an amazing experience out here and argentina is one of the most beautiful countries i've ever been to so gina thank you. yeah thank you for that and thank well, you for taking me today of course and hopefully we get well, some shots off this week we will have we have a few more days so we have a few more chances right yep no stress we've got a few more days and we're and now gonna... we've heard the roar and that's oh, important thing. You that's know? A, that's another thing that I haven't captured yet, but hopefully, maybe Mr. Walls or Cindy got it on camera. There's there's something called the roar, and I would compare it to a grunt call from a whitetail, but on steroids. So it's just very loud and very aggressive, and it, it's almost like an elk bugle, but it's so unique to the to the red stag. And uh, I got the experience in it in real life, which it's something I've always wanted to. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> All right, I just landed in Argentina. We're about to sling some arrows. You ready? At this point, Sydney's friend Scarlett arrived and it was day two. Nothing was killed. He's gone. We got a good night's sleep and day three has begun.
We met up with Sydney and we saw a group of stags trying to cross the river. Mr. Wells ran with me, we got close, and I let one rip. I know it's really hard to tell, but in the video, there was a big bull that was following it. I never really did see it. Uh, it was just so much happened so quickly. It was my first shot at an animal of that size, and I'm just happy that I completely missed and didn't injure the animal. I know, obviously, it wasn't the greatest shot. Well, yeah, I missed, but there is nothing that will make your adrenaline spike like, like that moment right there, and it's going to help me become a better hunter even though in the moment it was a pretty bad mistake. Thanks for watching this episode of AP Bassing. This is Argentina, and it's not over yet.